Hi guys, it's Tiffany. So today, Silver Moon Studios is going to be showing you the top 10 most predictable things in an LPS series. Number 1. The main character always ends up with a locker next to her soon-to-be best friend. Hi, I'm Jordan. Is your locker here too? Yeah, no way! My locker's like right next to yours! I can't believe that happened! We're gonna be best friends for life. Wanna hang out with me at lunch? Yeah, like totally. Come on! Uh, so you get the point. The problem with this is, is that in every single LPS series, this happens. And it just doesn't happen. The likelihood of you ending up with your locker next to your best friend isn't reasonable. So that's pretty predictable. Number two, the main character's mom or parents are always way too lenient. Hey mom, I know I is really past my curfew and all. I stayed out three hours late, but do you have dinner ready? Because I'm starving. Oh honey, of course I do. I wasn't gonna let you starve even if you were a little late. Just be a little more on time. That's all. Come on, I'll go heat it up for you. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. <clears throat> no. Okay, seriously, this doesn't make any sense. Guys, if you want to do this right, then at least make it reasonable. Think about what your mom would do in a similar situation. She wouldn't let you get away with it, now would she? So why would your character's mom be any different? Number three. The main character's boyfriend was previously with the most popular girl in school. Well, how's my gorgeous girlfriend today? I'm okay. Just a little worried. Why? Is it my ex again? Yeah, she's been being really mean to me. Well, don't worry. I'm done with her for good. Okay, guys, let's get this straight. A lot of people do this because they think that it makes the series more interesting. But to tell you the truth, you could make the series a lot more interesting if the main character didn't always uh, end up going out with the most popular girl in school's boyfriend. All I'm saying is, this could be the most predictable thing in an LPS series. So expand your horizons a little bit and make the situation more complex. Number four. The main character's best friends have the same boring, stereotypical personalities. <laughs> she doesn't love me anymore. Oh, it's okay. Calm down. They're all just a bunch of jerks, and you don't deserve them. Yeah, it's okay. They mean nothing. Come on, let's go shopping. That should make you feel better. <gasps> I love shopping. Come on, girls, let's go. Seem familiar? If you want to get good in LPS series, make sure you thoroughly develop all of the characters. Even make the main characters best friends with have personalities. Come on, these people don't have personalities, do they? Give them backgrounds, attributes, goals. There's a lot we can do to make these characters more interesting. I know they may be a boring role in the storyline, but they don't always have to be. Number five, more likely than not, there's a popular character in the series. <laughs> Why are they so mean to me? I'm not that ugly, am I? Hey, loser, learn to fix your fur every once in a while. <laughs> no one likes me here. <laughs> really? Oh, there's a popular character in almost every single LPS series out there. Make it fresh. So use LPS that aren't frequently used in other series. Sometimes I won't even watch a series if it has Sage Bond, Brooklyn Hayes, or Savannah Reed in it. Now I'm not saying we're not guilty. Hello! Now she's a popular character, but we didn't make her a main character in our series. Since Sandra is still a good LPS, we gave her the role of Lauren, Symphony's stepmom in Sticky Notes, instead of a major character. Maybe try something similar? Number six. Boy cats and cocker spaniels don't exist. Hey girls, what's going on? Uh, I'm actually a guy. Oh, well, you guys look like girls. No we don't, and who told you anyway? You're a cat and a cocker spaniel. You're girls. Hmm. Is there a law that says cats and cocker spaniels can't be boys? Exactly. Guys, if you recycle the same boy collies and boy Great Danes, it's gonna get old. So, why not use cats or cocker spaniels? 
I mean, the way I put it, if they don't have eyelashes, they clarify as a guy. Number seven. The main character always gets assigned to a project with her crush. Okay, class. Today I will assign partners for you all to do a project on the ancient Incas. James and Layla, you two will be partners. <laughs> I can't believe we got to be partners. Yeah. Uh, can I come over to your house to work on the project tonight? Sure, that'd be great. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Chances are this wouldn't really happen, and the main character would end up being assigned to a kid she doesn't know. How it's always her crush? Very predictable. Number eight. The main character is an only child. No, I don't have any siblings. I don't either. Being an only child rocks, yo. I'm an only child too. So am I! Okay, think reasonable again. Siblings exist, so create some family relationships. Number nine, the incredible lack of tomboys. I got this great new outfit. It's like totally cute. It really brings out the color in my eye. Oh, forget about that. I got some shoes at the mall yesterday that are totally fat. And you guys won't believe this, but Brandon kissed me last night. I've been waiting for so long. Aunt Tina, I thought we told you to dump that loser. Well, I'm happy for her, okay? Hey guys, what's up? Ugh, it's the Tom Bailey again. Go back to your idiot school where your idiot disgusting friends are at. Um... Just get out of here, loser. You don't belong with us. Seriously? Is there any other tomboys at this school? Ah! Do you feel my pain? Not once have I ever seen a tomboy in an LPS series. All the other numbers had exceptions. Like, sometimes I actually would find a series that didn't have the same thing over and over again in it. But really guys, there are known tomboys. Period, it seems. So, I don't know, maybe make not all your characters be so girly and give them... give them that edge. And finally, we come down to number 10, which could be the most predictable thing in every single LPS series. The popular girl wants revenge of the main character for stealing her boyfriend. Hey there, idiot. You again? What do you want? I know what you did, and if you think you can just walk right up to him and steal Luke away from me, then you're wrong. Uh, I wasn't trying to steal. So you were. Maybe you should just go die in a hole, because no one likes you anyway. Dog, what's your problem? Oh, I'm watching you, so you better watch your tail. <laughs> no, 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 no! Just keep in mind that it doesn't always have to be like this. Think new and original, and thanks for watching the 10 most predictable things to find in an LPS series. I'm Tiffany Kelter, and I'll check you later.